Hello, it's me, Adriano. Today, Mom will read us a story all about a time where no one was following God's rules except one man named Noah. So, are you ready? Let's begin. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to another story time. Are you ready? Well, last time we learned about following the rules. So today, let's talk about the rules of story time. Rule number one, find a comfortable place to sit. Check. Rule number two, no talking, check. And rule number three, listen carefully to the story so that you can answer the questions at the end, check. Let's begin. Today's story is about Noah and the Ark. All right, let's begin. God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil. Oh, dear. So men became very wicked. And even in their thoughts, they imagine how to do bad things. Oh, no, that's not good. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth. Oh, dear. God was sad that he made man. Remember Cain? He killed his brother. And then... He started a city, and the city started to grow, and lots of people were living there, and lots of people were up on the face of the earth. Remember Eve? She had lots of children. Oh, but their hearts were evil. They did bad things. They killed each other. They steal. All the bad things that you could think about, they were doing and it made God sad because God wants us to follow the rules. And the rules that God have are good, that we should be kind to each other. All right, let's keep going. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth. Oh, no. Both man and beasts, and the creeping things, and the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I have made them. Oh, no. God is going to wipe all the men, and the beasts, the animals, and the birds from off the face of the earth. Oh, dear. But now, uh, Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generation. And Noah walked with God. Wow. God found one person that followed the rules. He loved God. He loved God rules. And so he did all that God commanded him to do. And Noah begot three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And God said to Noah, The end of all flesh is before me. I will destroy all living things on the earth, for because of them the earth is filled with with violence make a ark of cypress wood commanded the lord make room in the ark and cover it 
inside and out with pitch. Make it in this fashion. Oh, so God gave Noah a blueprint. A blueprint is what shows you how to make something that you plan to make. So if someone is going to make a house, they would draw up a sketch of what they want it to look like. So God is giving Noah a sketch of how he should make the ark. Wow. Make it in this fashion. The length of the ark shall be 450 feet. Whoa, that is very long. The breadth of it, 75 feet. That's how wide it will be. Whoa. And the height, 45 feet. That's how tall that will be. That's like an apartment. Oh, wow. That's really big. You shall put a window in it. And in its side, you shall put a door. Wow. Wonder what the window and the door is for. The ark shall have three decks, a lower, a second, and a third. Yeah, like an apartment. It has a first floor, a second floor, and a third floor. Wow, God is really good at planning stuff. Oh, wow. You shall do this because I shall bring upon the earth a great flood. Oh, oh, oh no, a great flood. What is a flood? A flood is when rain falls so hard and there's lots and lots of water and things start getting washed away. Sometimes there are cars being washed away and houses and all sorts of stuff for there is too much water on the land. Oh dear. Which shall destroy every living thing. Oh no. So all the animals that are on the land will be washed away. All the houses and the men and the women. Oh dear. Let's find out what happened next. But with you, I will make a promise, and the promise shall be called a covenant. He's making a promise with Noah. Wonder what that promise will be. Hmm, let's find out. You shall enter the ark with your sons and with your wife and your son's wife with you. Oh, wow. Noah and his family gets to go in the ark. On every living creature upon the earth, you shall bring into the ark two of each sort to keep them alive with you. They shall be male and female. So God wants Noah to bring two of every animal inside the ark. And they should be male and female. So there had to be one father and one mother. So a father elephant and a mother elephant. Because in order for them to have more babies, they need to be one of each kind. So a father bird and a mother bird. A father giraffe and a mother giraffe, a father lion, and a mother lion. So Noah had to follow the rules. He had to bring one of each kind of animal, one boy and one girl. That was very important or else they would not be able to have baby elephants and baby giraffe and baby monkeys, right? Let's keep going. They shall be male and female birds of all kinds, cattle and every creeping thing, 
two of every animals in creation. Whoa, that's a lot of animals. Two spiders, two butterflies, two zebras, two pigs. Oh, wow, two dogs. Oh, wow. No wonder the ark had to be so big. There would be lots and lots of animals in this ark. Oh, boy. Two of every animal in creation shall come to you for you to keep them alive. So now I didn't have to go and look for the animals. The animals would come to him. Can you imagine just standing by your door and seeing two of every animals just passing by and going over to Noah's yard? Oh, my. Well, that's what happened. The animals came to Noah. And take with you some of every kind of food that is eaten. Oh, wow. So bananas and apples and apples and hay and all sorts of food that you can think about that animals and people would eat. Noah needs to get as much as he can. Oh, wow, to bring inside the ark with him so that they would have food to eat. Oh, gather it up and it shall be food for you and the creatures that are with you. Oh, this is very interesting. What would you bring to eat if you were going into the ark? I know my boys. They would want to bring ice cream. They love ice cream. But that would not be a good idea because ice cream would melt. I would probably bring chips and water. Lots of water. Let's keep reading. Let's see what happened next. Noah had lived to a very great age when the flood of waters came upon the earth. And God said to Noah, Come into the ark, you and all who are with you. Seven days from now, I will cause it to rain upon the earth for forty days and forty nights. Wow, that's a really long time for the rain to fall. Oh, wow, there will be lots and lots of water upon the land. And every living thing I have made, I will destroy from off the face of the earth. And Noah did all that the Lord had commanded him. So, Noah worked on the ark for a really long time. He had to chop down trees. He had to cut the wood. They had to carry the wood. And Noah and his family built that great big ark. So, it took a really long time. But now that they're finished and collect all the food that God said that they should, and the animals has come to Noah, now God is saying it's time to get ready to get in the ark because the rain is going to start to fall. And it will fall for a long time, 40 days and 40 nights. Can you imagine being in your house for 40 days and 40 nights, not being able to come out because it's raining too much? Ah, oh, that must be really hard, isn't it? Well, let's find out what happened next. He entered the ark with a shem and Ham and Japheth, his sons. 
his own wife and the wives of his sons. Birds and beasts and creeping things of every kind came to Noah and went into the ark two by two, the male and the female, as God had commanded. Then the Lord shut Noah in the ark. Oh, wow! God shut the door of the ark. And the waters of the flood were upon the earth. All the fountains of the great deep were broken up, and the windows of heaven opened. The rain fell upon the earth forty days and forty nights. The waters swelled and lifted the ark above the earth. Oh, wow! The flood spread, and the waters continued to rise upon the earth, and the ark floated upon the face of the water. The waters rose higher and higher upon the earth until all the high mountains under heaven were covered. Oh, wow! There is so much water that all the mountains and the houses were covered. Oh dear. Forty-five feet more did the water rise above the high mountain. And they were indeed covered. Oh dear, you could not see the mountains at all. All there was too much water. Every living thing that moved upon the earth died. Uh oh, oh no, that's really sad. Birds, cattle, bees. Every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth, and every man all in whose nostril was the breath of life. Every man and every living thing which was upon the face of the ground were destroyed. Oh no. All the people that were doing bad things didn't go into the ark. And so they died. Only Noah and those who were with him remained alive. So all the people that were in the ark and the animals that were in the ark, they lived. God remembered Noah and every living creature with him in the ark. God caused a wind to pass over the earth and to Quiet the waters. Wow. You may be wondering, why only Noah and his family went into the ark? When Noah was building the ark, he warned the people and he told them, that God was going to destroy the earth because they were evil. <laughs> they needed to stop being bad, but they didn't listen. And when they saw Noah building the ark, they laughed at him. They thought he was silly for building an ark <laughs> when there's no rain. They did not listen at all. They kept doing bad things. And that made God really sad. That no one would follow his commandments. No one would do good things except for Noah and his family. 
And that's why Noah and his family were the only ones in the ark. Okay, boys and girls, we see from the story that Noah followed God's rules. It is important for us to follow the rules. Rules are everywhere. At school, at church, home, on the road, all around us there are rules. And rules are there to keep us safe and to help us to be kind to others. And when we break these rules, bad things can happen. For example, a simple rule that we all know, we should wear our helmets when we ride our bike or our scooter. And if we don't wear a helmet, we could fall and hurt our head. We also know that when the traffic light is red, it means all vehicles should stop. And if someone tries to go through the red light, they could cause a serious accident where someone could get hurt or even die. Some rules of the road are, do not play in the road. Do not jump from a moving vehicle. You should always wear your seat belt when you're inside a vehicle. Or do not put your head or your hands out of a moving vehicle. And always cross at the proper crossing or when it is safe to do so. You sometimes can see rules at school that may say, no running in the hallway. Even at the library, you will see a sign that will say, be quiet or no eating in the library. We don't want to get food on the books. That would ruin our books, right? Even at the store, you may see a rule that says, do not steal. So all around us, there are rules, even in your home. What are some of the rules that you have at home? If you're not sure, you could ask your parents what are the rules. Even with God, there are rules for us to follow. And these are called commandments. Some of God's rules are, Thou shall not steal, thou shall not kill, and thou shall not lie. These are good rules, right? Yes. But the three most important rules that I like, thou shall love thy neighbor as thyself. This means you should love others the same way you love yourself. And Adriano did a Fruit of the Spirit video on love, sharing with you that God wants us to love even those that are not nice to us sometimes. Another rule that God has, honor your father and your mother. This means that you should love your father and your mother and show them respect all the days of your life. Not just when you're young, but also when you're all grown up. And not only on one special day like Mother's Day or Father's Day, but every day you should hug and kiss them and follow the rules that they set for you. But the greatest commandment of all, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This means 
You should really, really love God. And you should love God more than everything in this world. Your toys, your friends, your clothes. Yes. And when you love someone, you want to make them happy, right? Yes. Like you. Do you love your parents? Yes. And because you love them, you want to do all the things that will make them happy. So you would try your best to follow all the rules that they give to you. It's the same with God. When you do all the things that God commands, it makes him happy. And so God was happy that Noah followed all his rules. And because of that, Noah and his family was safe in the ark. So let us try to be like Noah and make God happy by following all of God's rules. And if we make a mistake, just remember, we can ask God to forgive us and to help us to follow the rules. So let us always pay attention to the rules. Most importantly, follow the rules. God bless you. Thank you for listening to the story today. And join me next time when we'll find out what happened next in the story. Part two. See you then. Bye. It's question time. Are you ready to answer these questions? Let's go. Oh dear. Noah is in the ark all by himself. Where are all the animals? Let us answer these questions to help Noah to fill the ark with animals. Are you ready? Let's go. Question one, who built the ark? Is it Noah, a Mario, or Larry? This one is easy. It's Noah, you're right. Okay, let's find out what our first animal will be. It's a monkey. Oh, so cute. Okay, question number two. How many sons did Noah have? Three sons? Seven sons? Or 12 sons? Hmm, let's think about it. Three sons. Did you get that right? I hope you did. Okay. Can you guess what animal will be next? Hmm, let's see if you got it right. A giraffe. Oh, he's nice and tall. Wow. Okay. Next question. Question three. Why did God destroy the earth? The people were too noisy? The people did bad things? Or the people had too much fun? Hmm. This one is tricky. Let's think about it. The people did bad things. Yes, they were evil. They hurt each other. They were stealing. That's not good. Oh, dear. All right. Let's see what. Oh, we got an elephant. <laughs> that was so fast. All right. Next question. Number four. Noah brought lots of this in the ark. Was it lots of food? 
lots of flowers or lots of friends? Hmm, which one? Lots of food, you're right. He had to bring lots of food for the animals, for himself and his family. Good job. Okay, which animal will we get next? It's a bear. He's so cute. Oh. Question five. Which of each animal did God tell Noah to put in the ark? Is it two males of each animal? One male and one female of each animal? or two females of each animal. One male and one female. You're right, that was very important. And Noah had to follow the rules. Good job. What's next? Can you guess? What do you think? Let's see. Oh, a cute pig. Oink, oink. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Question six. How long did it rain? Was it 40 days? Two days? Or seven days? Did you get it? All right. Let's see if you're right. 40 days. Good job. All right, let's see what the last animal will be that will go into the ark. It's a grumpy tiger. Oh, he looks so grumpy. Oh, dear. <laughs> Maybe the monkey's tickling his ears. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, the monkey just spinned for you. I hope you had fun putting all the animals in the ark. I had fun with you. See you next time. Bye-bye.